Good evening, Kirby Mercury here for another episode of my Let's Play for the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I almost clicked on Eden. I'm gonna continue on with Judas once I find him in this mess of characters. Let's see what this run holds for me. Take that. Don't go into the curse room. There's a good chance I lose the streak just by walking into the curse room on the first floor without thinking, hey, I only have one heart. But I'm assuming after, well, that's really good. I'm assuming after a little while I'm gonna get into the Judas mindset even more than I am now. And I might as well use this now just in case I come across a champion and he totally destroys me. That was a really good chest. But uh, Cricket's head might have been better. Or the goat head. I'm getting a surprisingly large amount of keys in a very short period of time. I don't know why blood came up over here and splatted all over me, but oh well, let's move on. I probably should have went in that curse room. Kind of trying to go a little bit faster than normal. Another key. Some dang on. Dang. Dang it. Dang spiders. Sorry for the lack of English skills. I'm still learning, you know. But. Say I'm pretty good for. Someone whose first language is Korean. That's a total lie. Anyways, Yum Heart. I would probably take that if I still had only red hearts just for a little while. I was waiting until I got the charge back for Book of Belial to come in here. Dingles never. Too much fun. Come on, eat away at that health bar. Stay away from me, you piece of shit. It's not that often that you see this boss in the late game. I don't know if it's always the same in everyone's game, but I won't dwell on that for too long. I really don't mind this tears upgrade that I have. It gives you spectral tears. Should probably go check this out, seeing as how I have money and keys. And that was on sale. I'm gonna go look for a cursed room. I missed out on the one on the last floor. So far, so good. Yum Heart's not really worth taking. Even if I did take it, I'd probably just keep it till the end of the floor and go back and get 
Book Belial. Let's take out the widow before he takes me out. I should not have got hit, but I kind of dropped the ball there for a second. Luck upgrade is great. This time I'm going to do this the right way. Take Gimpy first. And then Incubus. I'm a little short on HP, but... Double the tears is always... Double the survivability. Don't look into those statistics. I'll wait for my Book of Belial charge for that. Whoa. Stay away. If I could get 2020, that would be pretty goddamn amazing. And we're looking for Cricket's Head. Two bombs. I haven't even dropped one bomb on this run yet. Curse rooms, I mean, uh, secret rooms are really valuable. I just tend to only try opening them when I know they're there. Or if I'm keeping an eye open for them, which isn't always. Jeez. Definitely don't want to get hit by this champion. Or this one. Or walk on the spikes. There we go. Get another key. Get out of that room. This thing's always best to kill as fast as possible. Ugh. That was a little scary. Here's a good use for my bombs. Definitely feeling confident about this run. can be paid out that doesn't happen all that often and it's good for it to happen on the very first time I got hit uh, since I picked it up I may have oops okay maybe I should shut up I may have gotten hit Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Stop saying the word hit. Let's go into the shop. If only I could remember all of the Pandora's box payouts. I was hoping this was going to be an item, and it was. I know on the chest... I'm not, not on the chest. Whoa, okay. Concentrate for Gertie. I know on the cathedral, Pandora's box pays out with, uh, that is very tempting. But I'm gonna go blow up the don donation machine. I don't want to completely screw myself over. But yeah, on the Cathedral, um, Pandora's box pays out with a angel item. Now 
That's all I truly remember. Don't be a bad trip. Sometimes super high speed can feel a little bit slippery for me. But oh well. I think I got everything I need. Probably missed a couple tinted rocks. That's a great room to come across. When you have dark bum, it's not so bad. Things are a little iffy on the HP standpoint, or from a HP standpoint rather, but my damage is all right. I'm looking for a magic mush. No magic mush. Really surprised I didn't walk right into that guy. I barely knew he was there until he exploded. Also, my luck stats. Probably not too shabby right now. Okay, it's at two. That's a little worse than I thought it was, but not... I guess it's better than one, that's what I'm trying to say. Another I can see forever. Please don't be bad trip. Amnesia is probably just as bad as bad trip for me. Because of the fact that I get really lost. Found the item room, that's all that really matters. All I have to do is find the boss room. Lost fly is essentially useless. Not a good room to have, I was gonna say piercing shots, but I survived. I didn't think spiders can push the TNT around, but it's always good to learn things. Not like I have that any of that information can be very useful. Because if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I was looking for spirit hearts. Going to check out this card. Box of Friends probably kicks... Book of Belial's ass right now. I don't want to completely destroy my donation machine though. There's a demon heart. I could look for the other secret room. Could get box of friends, but I'll just move on and hopefully I don't play so bad that I fail and good thing I have super good speed these guys are going to be the death of me maybe not have lots of keys have one bomb doubled my bombs why not pop that right now Don't want the eternal heart. Unless I get down to 1 HP, then I'm gonna probably take it. So if I take the eternal heart, I'll lose Horror Babylon State. I 
don't believe that bomb could reach both of those. Yeah, definitely not. All that was definitely not the best use of bombs, but good for experimenting. High Priestess is good for a boss fight. Ooh. A double active card doesn't do a whole lot for me. Oh, I almost walked right into those spikes. That is a pill I've seen before on this run. I just can't recall what the other pill was that... I haven't seen yet. Er, bleh. Can't recall what that pill was. I know the red and white one is... I can see forever. Steam sales good for the next floor. Assuming this is steps one, and it is. I put put too much stake into the skulls. Monstro's Tooth is not really worth taking, even though I don't know if Horror Babylon, whoa, or, er, uh, Book of Belial does too much if I'm having Horror Babylon active all the time. Tempted to play that guy to see if I can get a syringe. Spirit Heart's always good. I don't believe I have blasted open any tinted rocks yet. Just been wasting all my bombs on skulls. Whoa. room can still kill you even though there's no enemies on it especially since I'm really fast right now luckily the speed control in this game is pretty decent you don't have to go fast if you don't need to. Whoa. I could use High Priestess right now, but I have faith. And you might have to. Oh, more speed. Guess I'll take it. I don't feel very, very much faster. I probably am though. Really surprised I didn't get a deal with the devil. Could figure out what those pills are. But I think I'll just keep on moving on. Keep on keeping on. Whoa. Anyways, that dodge against Dingle was pretty intense. It's going to have to go on the highlight reel. Might as well check out what this does. Range up doesn't mean too much to me. Might as well take a bomb since I am running low on bombs. It's always good to donate. It's 
good to help out a inanimate object in need. It's not even a materialized object. It's just like a digital object. I need to find a teleportation card. First tinted rock that I've noticed. I uh, don't remember if there's a card in here to buy. I'm sure I would have bought it. No card. Okay, first we'll check this. Open for a teleport card. Two keys. Doesn't mean too much. I don't think I'll be going to boss rush. Also, hope I don't get blasted in the face. Teleport card? I haven't even found the item room yet. Oh, oh, things are going haywire. Might be able to get all three of these skulls. At least I can say I did it. Whoa, you think the speed would have helped me there, but may have hurt me more than helped me. Let's get out of here. I'm still hoping for a teleport card even though I don't need it anymore. I will use two keys to get that. Definitely not worth it. Maybe it was. Maybe that trinket could have won me game single-handedly. Let's just throw this at something. That went right through the wall. Didn't see that coming. Luckily my rate of fire and damage is pretty decent. My damage isn't too amazing, but my rate of fire is. I don't need money anymore. The kidney stone. Oh, don't put any more money in that goddamn machine. Well, things just started popping off. This is my second dust touch run in a row. I don't know why they're so huge. Oh, it's because of, uh, Puplex, whatever. No Tinted Rocks. Probably Krampus. Really hoping for a lump of coal. You know what? I don't really need a Book of Belial anymore. And it's not very often I take Krampus' head, so why not roll with that? Whoa, get away. Guy didn't even have the range. Oh yeah, and plus I have... Jesus, man. Oh, jeez game had to do me like that. I could be so fast that I... Whoa. Cause, never mind, let's just not talk about that. Guppy's collar is definitely worth taking. Nothing negative about it other than the hope of 
respawning and then please don't be bad trip the hope of respawning then it not happening are you wizards not too great but I have faith in my tears either way should I really start using Krampus's head Krampus' head all up in your face. And that was the perfect time for it to do the spinning one. Normally, prefer the one that doesn't spin. And uh, spectral tears are really good from a defense standpoint. Seeing as how... I'm not that good from a defense standpoint. It's always good to have that extra little something something. Now my biggest concern is HP. I haven't really Gotten too much HP on this run. It wasn't too bad, but I did throw it, throw a lot of it away. Looking for tinted rocks. Looking for tinted rocks. Not gonna go into the curse room. That's. Seems like a disaster waiting to happen. My range is ridiculous. The chariot's really good here. Just remember that I have it if I need it. If I die with the chariot card, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. I don't even know if Krampus's head is better than my actual tears right now. Binky's really good. One guppy item. I'm going to pick up this. And I was really hoping it gave me HP. And it did. Pretty happy about that. But now I have the ability to fly and the occasional um, invincibility. What you want to do is play this dude until he pays out. Blow up the other two. Actually, nope, my whole existence right now, or everything good about this run. I don't recommend doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Everything good about this run is hinging on the fact that I have no red hearts. Because it gives me the ability to fly and also increases my damage. However, that one red heart could make the difference in my survival and I'm gonna get Seraphim just cause it's free I might have to pay in blood but that's a risk I'm willing to take that thing ate shit hard why not take that Not really the greatest room for Krampus's head. Are you wizards not worth anything here? Not gonna bother with the curse room. Unless I stumble upon a ridiculous amount of HP. Looking for tinted rocks.
stay away from me. Please. Oh no, I'm not shooting at the right people. I have invincibility. Uh, no tinted rocks. Play this a couple times to see if it gives me a spirit heart. I, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Usually I don't play this thing because it takes so damn long. Going to save my money in case I come upon another beggar. <laughs> Gotta keep it moving. My tears are so big that I can't see where I am some of the time. Double key room. That's what I was hoping it did. I don't need Swallowed Penny anymore. Shiny Rock's okay. Might as well take this. I don't really ever take it. But at this point in the game, unless I find the Cancer Trinket or a... Uh, Curved horn. Spirit heart's amazing, even though I haven't been hit in a while. Good thing I saved some money for this dude. A compass would be fine. Uh, synth oil would be good. I think I can live without dog food, seeing as how I'm not a dog. My invincibility is sticking. Get another deal with the devil. This is... Okay, Abaddon definitely gives me HP. Def and I don't recall... If Maul the Void gives me HP. But at this point... I didn't. I've been running on... Fumes as far as HP is gone for this entire run. So I might as well stick with it in the true Judas fashion. I don't know why I'm only ahead now and I lost my body. Maybe it's because I may have gotten the Leviathan transformation. Probably. However, things are really ridiculous. This is very similar run to last run. Which doesn't happen too often. I wonder if I did not mean to take that, you son of a bitch. I was staring at something and Bad things happen. I don't really need Krampus's head. Remember, I lost the <coughs> ability to fly. It's probably going to run into a lot of spikes now. Because they're all really good items. Krampus's head's the bottom. This is probably the best. For right now, at least. In this situation, rather. Joker card? Why, thank you very much. I wouldn't mind shedding one of my HP and picking up two black cards. Thank you very much. I didn't even care if that gave me 
the worst possible deal with the devil item. Maggie's faith is a really bad idea. I'm back to feeling feeling like my good old self again. The reason I ran into that HP after the the money beggar was because I was trying to look at the tick on my head and I was going to say that I think the the tick is the only trinket that actually shows like a visual thing on Isaac or Judas This room is usually complete crap, but I have a lot of range and piercing and spectral tears, so it's fine with me. Also this run, it may be super similar to the last one. But I do believe it's better. And Cricket's head? Nope. No! At least I don't lose the ability to fly on the next floor, but I do lose my Whore Babylon state because of the eternal heart pickup. My cheers are actually kind of mesmerizing right now. Here's back to my one HP. My one red heart, rather. That I didn't need. Of course, I get Curse of the Tower. Little Loki's okay. Glowing Hourglass means nothing to me. Roid Rage is one of my least favorite syringes next to Speedball, which is the other syringe I have. I'm going to try this and see if it does anything interesting. It definitely did. Okay. Well... Shouldn't have took Curse of the Tower again. So could I go back and not take Curse of the Tower? I guess I could, but... Might as well keep some... Odds stacked against me. Oh... I think if I blow this guy up, he'll give me an item. He did. Hell yeah, I'll take Forget Me Now. Even though I lose Book of Shadows doing that. But I gain more items. Also the ability to see the items. Quarter's useless. And since this run was too good, I'm going to have to do that. Shot speed super slow. I have um have sad bombs, however. Also, I do oh, oh, what's going on here, man. This is some funky shit. I'm super slow. So I have that stupid guillotine thing and I can't see where my body is. 
I did not lose the ability to fly. I did walk into a worm. I have a very small grasp of what's going on. I must have... What was it called? Oh, I have uh, the wafer. That's good. Serpent's kiss is good. Cricket's body is good. Must have some kind of rainbow tear effect, I think. Stop analyzing this. Just in case I have money equals power, might as well take that. My damage seems decent still. I am still Judas. I must have my reflection. That's what's making my tears go all crazy. It's kind of cool. It's like I'm a let's say walking lava lamp, but maybe that's not the right thing I'm trying to say. One of those kind of things. Must be continuum. My reflection is a really, it does not go well together. And I forgot that I was still holding the D4, so let's see what else I can conjure. Do I still have my reflection? I'm so confused. I have Bumbo, that's always good. I have Bumbo and uh, Bum Friend, I believe his name is. Never had, um, this is actually really sweet. I've never had mm, Monstro's Lung tractor beam before. I'm going to reroll it one more time and get spun. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Oh, I have um, Epic Fetus. I didn't even see that. Epic fetus mom's knife. Don't ask me how this keeps on getting really good. Surprised I haven't got conjoined yet. There must be only th like three specific familiars that give you it because a lot of the time you think you would have it, but you don't. I have Taurus. And I'm assuming those three, if there, there's probably three or four, but. Would be um, Sister Maggie, Brother Bobby, Ghost Baby, and uh, Rotten Baby. Could D4 one more time, even though this, this run's really cool, but might as well check out what else it has in store. Might kill me, though. Got the Seraphim transformation. It's probably Tech 1... Um, small planet. Although my damage seems really ridiculous. I think I'm going to try for one more reroll before I go fight. Blue, blue baby. 
Even though that's not the smartest thing to do. It's also a chance that I might not have enough rooms left to get another reroll. Actually, I should have played that. Oops. Oh well. Now my lasers are better. See, the good news is it's almost a guarantee that I'll have good damage. So all I have to do is one room. And I should be able to survive in it unless I get somehow like no damage at all which seems slightly impossible I must have conjoined because I'm shooting three Let's try it one more time holy light uh, I think that's cursed die My holy light shots are seeming to come out a lot. And I do have 72 bombs and pyromaniac, so essentially I'm invincible. As long as I can blow myself up enough in time. Oh, there's the cursed eye. I'm really, really slow. I also have sack dagger, so... If I really need to, I could just use Sack Dagger and Bombs and get the win that way. So I'll keep regenerating my health. However, if I keep getting hit, I'll never finish this run. The cursed Eye, I didn't know there was a battery charge in there. One more time. Okay, Tech X is definitely one of my favorite items. Tech X homing is amazing. This looks really cool. And that's a win. I think I also had Strange Attractor. I did. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. And have a good night.